How's it going everybody? So while the Hero reworks got the main focus in this testing round, the small gap break change is what needs to be talked about as well. While it's easy to find people that will agree with you when you say light spam is an issue, but if you tell somebody that gap break spam is an actual issue, you probably just see people scratch their heads in disbelief. But let me explain what this small change actually means. You guys know that neutral attacks have guard break vulnerability, 100 ms for lights and 433 for heavies. This means that randomly thrown guard breaks from neutral can catch both of these moves. Now, if you continue to just press the guard break button, this means that only a light or a zone can really interrupt the guard break spam. This severely limits any mix-up potential from neutral for a lot of heroes. And if you face somebody that can reliably parry an attempted light interrupt, then this becomes really stale and not a very fun mix-up to engage in really, because it will try and bait out that light. That is because currently in the life game, after a counter guard break, you are frame neutral. Both sides go back to neutral at the exact same time. In the TG, the one that successfully counter guard broke was frame positive, just by one frame, or in our case 33 ms, but that was enough to change the nature of the mix-up because now a heavy can no longer be guard broken by simply spamming guard break. This opens up the potential for more different moves. Not only that, but there were additional changes that now prevent you from escaping by simply back dodging after a counter guard break. Right now in life, you can simply buffer a back dodge and escape any additional guard break attempts or even attacks for that matter. Especially when facing somebody in the revenge, this was a common thing to do. You counter guard broke, and then rolled away. Because of the lack of chase moves on some heroes, this could be done without any fear of getting countered. In the TG, this was completely different. Any guard break after counter guard break will now catch a back dodge or back roll. This makes disengaging much harder and could even be considered an indirect buff to revenge. For me, there isn't even a question whether this should be implemented or not. The sooner the better. Ship it yesterday, preferably. So now that we all know that this is a great change, we can spread the word. Having said that, hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Later, everybody.